Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showcasing my Marie Antoinette inspired bed that I got at the auction. So it's kind of a long story about this bed. I've kind of been looking for something like this for a very long time. And there's an auction in my city where I live called Lund's Auction. And every week they have really unique items. And I told my dad because he always goes there to keep an eye out for a unique kind of Marie Antoinette inspired bed. And finally he stumbled upon one and I went to the online bidding for the auction and I ended up getting the bed for $800 but unfortunately it was too big to even fit in the hallway up to the second floor of my apartment because the headboard is like seven feet high and I think seven feet wide and like it can't really come apart so obviously it was just way too big. And so I had to bring it to my parents' house and I basically swapped bedroom sets and took the old bedroom set in there and brought it to my apartment and put this Marie Antoinette in their guest bedroom. But it was insane trying to lift it into the second floor of their house. We had to like hoist it up the main hallway with like ropes and it took several people. The thing is like massive. Um, but I just feel like it's one of those things, like you'll never be able to find one of these beds again. I think it originally, the price was really expensive. My dad was thinking it could be like a sixty or $70,000 bed. It's definitely a vintage replica, so it's like a newer bed, but it's made to look old and it has that kind of vintage style. And I just really love all the details of it. So I'm going to take you on a little tour of the bed and all the little Marie Antoinette inspired details I added to the look. So this is the Marie Antoinette bed and I was doing research online and I think it could possibly be a Phyllis Morris piece of furniture and it looks like that's quite an old brand but this is a new bed and as you can see the headboard's quite large and the height of that headboard is seven feet and I believe it's seven feet wide. And it also has this built-in kind of padding along the sides here. And in the front section, it's all padding. And then it has beautiful details along the front, as well as all the leg details. And it's all like bedazzled with those jewels and all tufted. So it comes apart in pieces, so the headboard comes off and then the footboard, and then there's the two middle pieces. But the problem with moving it was the headboard was just so massive and because of the height of it, especially that little bit on the top. And I also bought these bed sheets on Society6 and I was looking for something Marie Antoinette themed to kind of go with the whole look of the bed. And I found these ones and I just kind of searched Marie Antoinette bed sheets. And this is a painting by an artist. I'll link it below and she does these really beautiful paintings of Marie Antoinette and they're very whimsical as you can see and it comes with like the matching pillowcases so I thought it was a really pretty set and I just really like the details I need to press out some of the little wrinkles on the duvet cover I'm probably gonna have to use like a, maybe a steamer or something but I just love the beautiful details and it's like having a work of art on your bed. And I also just like supporting artists. And I think it really does go well with the bed. And as you can see, there's little details of her like with the teacups and the macaroon. And then obviously the cake in the middle. So it's a combination of like whimsical and fantasy. And it kind of reminds me of the Sofia Coppola film, which I love. And this is all solid wood, so it's a very heavy bed. But as you can see, it's like brand new. And the owner apparently just wanted to change the furniture. And at the auction, there was like a whole, like his whole estate was at this auction. And apparently everything went for really cheap. Um, there was like a dining room set and that only went for like $600. And I think the thing is with this bed, I feel like it's not everyone's taste. I mean, obviously, most people's houses and apartments are quite modern. That's kind of the look right now. And I feel like this is a very unique look and it's not for everyone, which is fair. I mean, I couldn't even fit it into my apartment, but at least now it has a good home 
and it's appreciated and I can use it for photos and I guess if I ever want to like try sleeping in it but I just love all of the beautiful details and everything's brand new it even came with the mattress and look at the beautiful details on the headboard I just love it and it's all very solid and actually to get it through the door we had to flip the headboard upside down they couldn't do it the first day because I didn't really think of it and then we took off the door I'll show you the door what it tried to go through so at first we took off the door and tried putting it through and it wouldn't fit through and then they the movers came back the next day and they flipped it around upside down then they finally got it through because at first they were going to call a carpenter to actually saw off the top to get it through and then come back later and like maybe put like hinges or something so you can like take it apart if you wanted to move it again but i'm so glad that didn't happen but i mean i really doubt this bed is going anywhere to be honest because it was such a pain to move and this is actually the bedroom that i grew up in um twins used to live here and there's like double closets and one of the twins name was laura so it's kind of a weird bedroom i think it's kind of haunted it creeps me out a little bit especially this mirror here but it definitely is kind of cool um but yeah i just love this bed and i really am happy with the bedspread i think it really works well and to go with the whole aesthetic I have my roses, my rose forever display. I think it really works. And then I even have my Marie Antoinette tea. This is the original Marie Antoinette. Nina's in Paris. And it has the actual flowers and roses from Versailles. So I'm gonna have to pour some of that in a second. And I made this really nice strawberry rose cake and I bought some dried rose petals to decorate it for the Marie Antoinette theme. And I thought it went really well with my Nina's in Paris tea. So I'm going to pour some in my Marie Catoinette teapot. And this teapot is the inspiration for my eyeshadow palette. Oh my goodness, the head's falling off. I just thought this teapot was really cute and I love this tea because it's like floral and rose and you can have it with milk or without I kind of like it without I think it's really good it's like fresh and floral and now I'm going to cut a piece of the cake so you can see it zoom into the cake It's a beautiful rose, a strawberry flavored cake. Perfect for afternoon tea at Versailles or Marie Antoinette's fantasy room. Hmm. So here are a few of Marie Antoinette's favorite things that I thought added a nice touch to the video. So these are the chocolates she apparently loved and I ordered these online. They're really good and I ate them all so I'd show you the actual coins but I ate them all. So if you want to see what they look like make sure you check out my other Marie Antoinette videos. and. This is a perfume inspired by Marie Antoinette. This one is called a Black Jade. It's a really beautiful fragrance. It's not really old, but it's inspired by her and the original recipe. So I think it's a really nice perfume. I love the bottle. So if you're a Marie Antoinette 
fan or you just like the aesthetic, I recommend that perfume. And here's Vintage Doll Cosmetics Marie Catonette eyeshadow palette. It's really fun colors inspired by the Sofia Coppola film. And then Marie Antoinette also loved to soak her hands in gloves with rose water and rose oil. So I got these moisturizing pink gloves. And when you wear them, they moisturize your hands while you sleep. And they have rose oil in them. So I thought that was a nice touch for the Marie Antoinette inspired beauty routine. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think of the bed. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.